This is the box the camera came in and it won't focus. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys again. It is Chanar aka Golden Joshi. As I always say, if you didn't already know that, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful. Drop a comment down below if you plan on getting the Sony ZV-1 or you have it already or you just think it's cute or you just waiting for me to tell you whether you should get it or not. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So here's the camera box. This is the box the camera came in, and it won't focus. All right, let me stop playing. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the camera, because I realized I don't have it on my desk. BRB. This um, microphone thing is becoming very frustrating. I keep forgetting to put on my microphone. This is my third time recording the video, but we move. Um, so basically, this is an unboxing because although I already opened the camera and I did film two videos with it already, so I filmed my one pan chicken dinner video with it. So if you guys want to see the quality, you can check this that out after this video. And that was done in low light. And I also did my last vlog um, about COVID and everything else that I spoke about in that video. So I said it's an unboxing because I have the box that it came in. So it's an unbox, unboxing. You get it? Oh no, that was corny. But okay, so basically this is like the hottest camera out right now. It came out in August of 2020, I believe. So it's about, it's less than six months old. If we, yeah, less than six months old. It is very new and it is very high tech. Um, so far, I'm really pleased with it. The size is just crazy to me. It is super small, but it has such high quality video. And just one little detail, it records in 4K and 1080p. So they knew that we wanted to capture views. Like we wanna capture views of the base and we wanna capture views of wherever we are, which is why it is a vlogging camera. So this camera was made specifically for vlogging. So far it's been compared to the Canon M50 as well as I think it's the Canon G7X Mark. I'm not sure, but it's been compared to cameras of that caliber. The difference is that this is not a DSLR. This is a point and shoot camera. So it is just a digital camera, but it is a digital camera revolutionized. It is so good, I'm so pleased with it. I wouldn't change anything about it except one thing which I'll discuss later in the video. But this is the full camera, it is super lightweight. It weighs less than, let me see, I believe it weighs less than two pounds or less than a pound. All right, so it weighs, According to Google, it weighs 0 0.65 pounds, so less than a pound. Um, just to walk you guys through some of the pricing, reviews that it had so far, my first impressions of it. So I'll just tell you guys the specs first. So it is $799 to buy the camera alone. Cool, works, but if you wanna take it up a notch, you want to get this tripod. So this is the vlogging kit. And this is the box that it comes in. This is the vlogging kit. This is the box that it comes in. And this retails for $100 to $150. And it comes with a tripod as well as a 64 gigabyte memory card. So on the tripod, you'll notice that there's some controls on there. So that was specifically designed for vlogging because you won't have to. Okay, let's focus. Don't do it. Canon, you showing out, Sony have you looking bad because the ZV-1 would never. So um, this is the tripod. It has a recording button on it. I really haven't gotten too much in the, into the controls yet. I got this for Christmas. So I'm learning it as you guys are learning it or maybe you know more about it than I do. But what I really like about it is the tripod has the ability to kind of swivel all the way back like this. And it can also move in a complete circle, which I haven't done yet. Ah, oh, there it is. So it can go in a complete circle. So there's no right or wrong way to hold it because it can go anyway. Only thing is it's pretty short, so I think it's specifically made for handheld. When you hold it out, you'll be able to get um, a pretty good angle of 
yourself and what exactly you're vlogging. It also has, I believe it has a battery. Okay, so. Ah. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time trying to open it, but I believe that's the battery pack in there. All right, so back to the ZV-1. You guys have seen the tripod seen the box it comes in. So the tripod retails for $99 to $150, as I said. My boyfriend actually purchased it as a Christmas gift for me. He got it as a set. So the total for the tripod and the camera was $946, obviously plus tax, because we live in New York and they tax everything. But yeah, so $946. And at first I was like, that's expensive. Like right now I'm recording on my T6i with my 50 millimeter lens, my nifty 50. And the nifty 50 and the camera do not cost as much as the camera by itself, let alone with the tripod. So at first I was like, you gotta take that back. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be recording videos like that, but here I am recording videos. But um, as I said, it shoots in 4K and 1080 megapixels um the resolution is 20 megapixels it is a point and shoot camera and it also comes in white so i have the black one but it also does come in white i was thinking about the white but i was like ah, i should probably just stick to classic and get black and i actually do plan on getting a rubberized case for it just in case i drop it i'm a little clumsy but yeah so i will get that um at a later date it also has a stereo mic which is built in which is what i'm going to show you guys here at the top so if you just look at the camera, I have this, what is it called again? Um, I keep forgetting what it's called. I think it's a wind, hold on guys, let me check the box. Wind screen, wind screen. So when you're outside, if it's like windy, if there's a monsoon, tornado, anything, you will be okay. Everyone will be able to hear you if you decide to vlog it. So it has this thing on top. Uh, I know how to take it off. I just, okay. So you just like kind of pull it off. And then let me just show you guys the top of the camera. This camera is basically all microphone. So the entire top of the camera, come on, focus. The entire top of the camera that you're seeing with the perforated area is the microphone. So that is why the wind, what is it? Windscreen is so large and it covers the entire top of the microphone. And that's also where most of the controls are. So up there we have the power button the record button and all the other buttons. Yeah, all the buttons are pretty much at the top and all of the outlets are at the side of the camera. So come on, focus. Don't do it to me. It's focusing on my face. So that is the, I think it says HDMI. That's the charging port. And also if you want to add an external microphone, that port is there as well. Yeah, multi HDMI microphone. I got it right. <laughs> And it comes with a little, um, a little thing on the side where you can like put a, a wristlet on it or something, something to hold the camera on. Focus. Uh, yes. Yeah, so that little black hole looking thing is where you would like insert a wristlet or something to hold the camera on if you didn't want to lose it or didn't want it to break or you just wanted to hold it on your hand while you're carrying the camera around so that's that it has one battery that comes with this so the battery well yeah obviously the battery comes with it it does not come with a memory card so this is the battery and the memory card is in the same slot and i thought that this closure was interesting it actually has a lock on it so you have to lock it in place in order for it to close or it will remain open. Let me see. So you have to close it. So that's good. It makes you ensure that it is secure. You won't have to worry about um, any damage to the area, I guess, and all that stuff. Going into more specs of the camera, it is a 35 millimeter view. So. I really like that because it's not too close and it's not too far. It's kind of like a happy medium where you can capture a good range of view without feeling like you're too close to the camera or it's not capturing the landscape that you want. It's kind of right in the middle. It also has the option to change the frame on the actual camera. So I noticed that when I'm recording, I have the option to choose, I think it's 16, 16 by nine, four by three. And there's two other options, which I will show you guys because I'm about to turn on the camera and 
look at it myself because I forgot. So when you go to menu, oop. yeah, when you go to menu and you hit aspect ratio, I hope this thing focuses. Yeah, when you hit aspect ratio, it has four options there. So I noticed that this is very helpful. Like say I'm recording content for Instagram, you know, reels have a very specific dimensions in order for your reel to come out in the best quality. And also YouTube has very specific dimensions in order for your video to come out in the best quality. They also have like a widescreen option, which I think is interesting. So there's the one to one, 16 to nine, four to three and three to two. So those are the different aspect ratios that you can shoot um, not only um, videos, but also pictures in. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So I noticed that um, pretty much whenever I close the camera, it just shuts off. So I think that's because I'm getting to the con, the battery life. <laughs> it could be better. I'm definitely gonna need at least three, four batteries if I'm gonna be taking that camera like on a long excursion where I want to vlog, like say my whole vacation. Guys, I'm thirsty. Okay, like say I want to vlog my whole vacation, I'm definitely gonna need a couple batteries. I did see some options online, which I plan on picking up. They have like a rechargeable battery pack and they also have like a plug-in rechargeable battery pack that shows you like the level of the battery as it's charging, which is good to have. And yeah, the battery only lasts like <laughs> an hour and a half, two hours, maybe. But yeah, it definitely needs work. If they ever work the camera, I'm hoping that they will fix the battery. But I just feel like for a powerhouse like that, you kind of just have to take what you can get because it's so small. The camera is literally four by two and a half inches. Literally, four by two and a half inches. Um, it also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities, which is obvious, perfect. Like if they didn't have that, they would be canceled. It can send footage from your camera to your phone and it also has an app. So there is a Sony app. I believe you have to pay like monthly or you can pay m monthly or annually. So it's not free. I thought it would be free, but it's not. <laughs> and you can use your handset as a remote in the app. So I probably won't be doing that because I don't know if I'm paying for that app unless it's like so crazy that I feel like I need it. Let me just look at the box so I can tell you guys if I missed anything. So it also has face appeal. So face appeal, which I noticed in my last vlog. So hopefully this video goes up soon. So this is my note to myself to edit this video as soon as possible. So it has face appeal. So face appeal, basically it like blurs your face kind of, but I noticed that it didn't blur my dark spots on the side. It just like kind of filled my pores in, if that makes any sense. So it gave me like a natural airbrush look where I didn't look I crazy. Products that I want to try, so definitely subscribe. Hit the like button, drop a like. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Android. Android cameras do this thing to your face where you just look. I have the white line. I'm about to look up some hacks to not have that anymore. But yeah, it just has this thing where you just look crazy. Like I hate sometimes. Well, I don't know if this still does that, but I used to have an Android and the camera used to do that and I really hated it. Um, it also has very, I noticed that the, the recording, like I don't need a mic, like on this camera, I feel like the audio is good, but now that I'm using my microphone, it's obviously a thousand times better. But with that camera, like being that most of the camera is a microphone, the audio is so good. It's so clear. It doesn't matter. Like if you're in a, a noisy place or not, it is super clear. And I definitely can like attest to that with the camera from the footage that I've recorded so far with it. Also, um, it has really good performance in low light. Like when I was recording my cooking video, I was like, this is going to be trash <laughs> because I'm so used to recording with my kit lens or like just like re recording with a bad lighting in general. And it just like really shows up in your video. The Sony definitely makes bad lighting not look as bad as it actually is. Or they like bring light from somewhere and it just looks like really good. Um, it also has a bokeh switch book it i think i heard someone say that on I heard someone i saw someone mention that online i don't really know what it means i'm not a camera girl i just have two cameras but um um let me just look up bokeh switch definition of book it it's the pleasing or aesthetic quality of out of focus blur in a, in a photograph so basically i think what they're saying i'm going to put a clip in here 
whenever I put something in front of the camera, it auto focuses on it, which the Nifty 50 should do, but sometimes so low, <coughs> as you guys can see from this video. But that does a really good job. Like when I was doing the cooking video, it just automatically focused on each seasoning that I put in front of the camera. So that is good. What else? Real time IAF and it says a whole bunch of other stuff. You guys can look at the box, make of it what you will. I'm not, I'm really not like a tech geek. I do what I can, I do my research, but this is a first impression. This is a first impression video, so. Don't be expecting me to sound like I work in Best Buy um, Geek Squad. But yeah, so the only thing that came in the camera box was the camera, the battery, and that's it. And the the wind windscreen. <laughs> so they were like, take the camera and get out. We ain't giving you nothing else. But yeah, I'm excited. I think this is really going to take my content up a notch. It's so much easier to carry around. Um, will I be able to? I'll probably use my phone and show you guys a size comparison to my DSLR. Just so you guys can see, like it's literally the size of a digital camera or a disposable camera. Like it is super, super tiny and it has the flip out screen, which can flip obviously. <laughs> so you can turn it either way, you can leave it half. It's really good. So right now it's like, yeah, right now it's doing this clear skin thing on my face. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna put the clip in here for you guys, but Yep, it's blurring my face more than it is already with my new NARS foundation, which I have a review on. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. But um, yeah, you see, I turn off the camera. Well, I stopped recording and I'm gonna close the screen and the camera's gonna shut off. What? I think that's a mode. I have to look at the settings, but I'm pretty sure that's a setting. And as far as how it fits on the tripod, so it has the screw at the bottom. Oh, I always do this. It actually has like a wheel here. You can turn to tighten it on the tripod. All right. And we're ready. Action. Ew. All right. So let me know if you guys have any questions down below. It's always something in here. It's always something. Something got to fall. Something got to not work. <sighs> Welcome to my channel. But yeah, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer. I'll be learning the camera as I go along. I obviously did not read the instructions. I didn't even open the manual. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully, eventually, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. As I probably already said, make sure you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button on your way out. I hope to bring you guys more tech content to show you guys what I've been using to record to upgrade my channel. We're on the road to 3K. So help me get there by hitting the subscribe button. And I'll have more giveaways in the future. I've just been trying to find a way to ship things without paying more for the shipping than the item. I'm noticing that that's a trend. So yeah, I will not be taking part in that. But I'm gonna figure out a way to bring you guys some treats and surprises. But hit the like button, drop a comment if you are interested in this camera, you plan on getting it. Um, you just like my makeup. Drop a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video.